What's up? Thank you for joining us again. What's up? So today we're doing something a little different. I know you're used to us vlogging and, you know, bringing you along to different restaurants and things like that. But today we are doing Amazon favorites. 20. I 20, guys. None of them. 20. <laughs> okay, maybe one or two. <laughs> but you enjoy half of them. Some of them are going to be beauty products, so... Nah, wait till we get into these things. You're gonna be like, oh no, he 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 enjoys this. All right, so let's get it started. Number one is gonna be our curving. I always say that wrong. It's Kuvings. I want to put an R in it so bad. So yeah, it's Kuvings juicer. Kuvings juicer, yeah. and it is a slow, a whole slow juicer. Yep. So this particular juicer helps you to get the highest nutrients and vitamins, is BPA free, and it's easy to clean. Look, I'm, I, I, she got all the all the, facts. the details. I know that it works well. From experience. I've done my research on it before we purchased it. Mm -hmm. What got me was it started when I when I juiced some spinach. I was like, oh, yeah. Wait, what? Because we was putting it in the blender in the Nutribullet. Yeah. And then, like, you know, pour it in there. But now nah, it actually does that, too. So it's, it's great at what it does. And it does smoothies. I've never done a smoothie. It does smoothies, but... guys. Like a juicer that does smoothies. Yeah. And it's easy to clean. I think that's the biggest complaint about most juicers. Yeah, I think so, too. Like the cleanup. So we're very adamant to clean it up as soon as we finish using it. I was just going to say that, yeah. You want to make sure that you clean it as soon as you get done. You know what I'm saying? Using it. We, we juice a lot, so we do it every day, just mm -hmm. about every day. Yeah. Um, so after we do it, you know, juice all you're going to juice yeah. for the next two days or whatever you want to call it. And then, boom, you're good. Yep. You're good. So it's a very good juicer. And it makes almond milk. It makes almond milk. Yeah. Like, you so, cannot top this juicer. It yeah. was, like, the best purchase. Absolutely. So all of the things that we discussed today will be in my Amazon storefront. Link below. So she you needs can Amazon stock. <laughs> but you can click on the link below if you want to purchase it so moving on to number two so number two, number two it is our high boy electric scooter oh yeah now she's gonna put some footage in here so you can see the scooter <laughs> but it's really dope um it has it's called the high boy for a reason so the wheels look like bike wheels yep. you know what i'm saying yep. it's bigger 14 inch tires it's 14 inch okay good i'm about to say 12 14, so 14 inch tires inch tires which is great because you don't feel the bumps in the road. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Um, you can go up to 31 miles an hour. See, facts. Facts. You need these <laughs> facts, people. You need these facts before you go I, I, I'm the experienced guy. She's the person who's going to research all the facts. Yes. So it works well. It works good. It has three levels. Um, you can go up to 31 miles per hour. She made it to five. Yeah, I don't go fast. Like he'll kick it all I'm, the way up. I start out in third gear. So. Excuse me, I'm not saying that wrong. Yeah, it can go up to 22 miles an hour, 22, 31 22. miles in distance. That makes more sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, um, and and realistically speaking, it never goes to 20. It goes around 18. You think 18? Yeah. Okay. That's as high as it's, it'll go. Yeah. Um, and that's on a straight path, but it's really smooth. What would yeah. you say? A scale of one to ten. We need to give everything a rating. Okay, so go back to the juicer. What was that rating? One to ten. Juicers are ten. Off Juicers top. are ten. To me. Ten. You know what I'm All right. High boy scooter. Scooter. Um, I'm gonna say an eight. Eight. I'm, I'm with gonna you. Say an eight. An eight. You know why I'm gonna say an eight? Because the thing messed up my leg a few times. Oh yeah. Tell them about that. We want to so tell them the it's cons. A, it's a piece on the side. The kickstand. The kickstand, but it's a part off the kickstand. It's like mm -hmm. it's weird. So if I, I, I'm on the uh, sidewalk, so you know you're not supposed to ride it on the sidewalk like that. So I'm, I'm pushing it and I'm walking, but it, it scraped my ankle to the point yeah. that it started like bleeding out, right? Yeah. Like bleeding, bleeding. Yeah. I was like, what the heck? But and it did that twice. And I did see that in some of the reviews that you're not the only one that happened. Oh, to. good. So see? I'm very particular when I'm walking it because that has happened to you. But if yeah. you weren't looking for that to happen, yeah. then it would probably and that's happen. when it happened because it yeah. happened the first time I wrote it. Yeah. yeah. So definitely pay attention to the kickstand. Yeah. All right. So that's number two. We give it an eight. Number three, we're getting into some of the stuff that he doesn't use. I didn't say I didn't use any of it. I said one <laughs> or two things. One or two things. <laughs> number three. Maybe three. All right. 
about five or six. Y'all get ready to see. All right, number three is the Rodecaster Pro yeah. with two Rode Pro mics yeah. and 32 gigabyte mic SDHC memory cord. It's yeah. all in a bundle package. Yeah. So now, y'all, that's that's my joint. It's, it's back here. I put, um, I'm going to insert some yeah, footage of it's it. It's back here, and I'm going to just turn it on just so y'all can see. Y'all probably see the lights or whatever. But um, I use this all the time. I did my podcast uh, with yeah. that, and I did like um, four seasons of podcasts on it. And it's, yeah. the first season, I was just, I started out with Anchor, just wanted to get it done. So I was just using my phone. Second season, when I started using that, and there's a notable difference. Yeah. Like the sound quality is amazing. Sound like I was in a studio. So anybody who's looking to do a podcast, just looking to record your vocals mm -hmm. on something for whatever, maybe for work. I don't whatever it is, is good for that. Um so yeah. And it has uh all the buttons that um sound effects. Whatever you want to add to it is unlimited storage. You should definitely get into that for real. Perfect. So what are we going to give the Rodecaster 1 to 10? All right. So on a scale of 1 to 10, what would you give the Rodecaster? Rodecaster, I'm going to give it a 10. I haven't had no issues with it. Um, there was one issue, now that I think about it, when we used to travel a lot. Um, uh, it yeah. was a, it's a wire in the back, the power cable. Whenever it, it, I only had it at that time for maybe two or three months. Yeah. So it would get weak and then it, would, it wouldn't cut on. Yeah. Um, but since then, I found out that it, it had a shortage in it, but you just have to hold it a certain way, which I thought was kind of weird for such a high price thing to have a bad wire. So Other than that, it's great. So if you're moving around a lot, yeah. then even though you had the carrying case and everything to protect it, it's still yeah, that cord still. still that cord was kind of like it was a cheap cord or something. So you know what, what would you give it with that cord considered? I said a nine. A nine? Yeah. Okay. And so I'm going to have to go with the nine too because he uses it more than yeah. I do. And there you have a nine. Yeah. But anytime you've used it, it still comes across very, very well because you've used it oh, yeah. a few times. Yeah, I have used it yeah. for different recordings. I've done some videos like for mm -hmm. work and stuff like yeah. that. And it did work really well. Absolutely. All right. Number four is the Sony E10 real-time IAF and tracking camera. That's this da, one. Da, da, da. That's this one right here, and this uh, it works really well. Um, this is we actually purchased this this camera right here um, for Monica. Yeah. Uh, and we purchased it because she wanted to get into vlogging, um, and so that's what that's what we did. We yeah. got that for her. Um, we I have one another one, but we're going to talk about that in a minute. Yeah. So. That was originally mine, and mm -hmm. then we do use it over here at the workstation to give more than one view yes. because he uses his camera more. So that, let's see, what are we going to give the E10, now one out that, of ten? I'll give it to you and let you rate it because you spent more time with it. Um, I think it's very clear. Mm -hmm. It's lightweight. It's easy to easy to, um, use. Easy yeah. to use, uh, very user-friendly because mm -hmm. I'm not a big electronic person, and for me it was easy. So I'm going to have to give it, I really don't have anything negative to say, so I'm going to have to give it a 10. Yeah, okay. Very clear okay. pictures, yeah. uh, video. Okay. Transfers like easy to the computer. Yep, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. All right, Sony. All right, Sony. So a 10 for me. A 10. And Sony is one of my favorite brands. So I've had Sony headphones, all of that stuff. So yeah. Sony is one of my favorite brands. All right. So next is number five, which is going to be his camera, which yes. is the Sony A6400. And so, so. that would be. The big boy. The right big here. boy. You know what I'm saying? Now, this is not one of the newest because I think Sony comes out with a new camera every six months. But um, this one is dope where, um, let me show you real quick. So it does, the, the back comes up like this. Mm -hmm. So you can see yourself, right? So that's the good thing about that one. It's a good camera for vlogging as well. Yeah. Excuse me. Um, so Bluetooth, Wi-Fi. Blue, everything. Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, all of that. Um, it, it just has a great camera. Um, it's a great camera, excuse me. And if you've and, seen his videos, I don't know if y'all yeah. seen Fresh Perspectives, which yeah. I'm going to link it below. Yeah. Like his quality of his videos, yeah. so nice. That is this camera. That's that camera, yeah. Yep. So, yeah, um, that one to me is a 10. It's yeah. hard for me to give Sony anything less, less than, than a 10, 10 yeah. because I've never had any problems with Sony products ever. I so. agree. I think a 10. Okay, so a 10 for both cameras. Yep. 
Now we're moving to number six. Yeah. Number six is um, his GVM RGB video light with Wi-Fi connectivity, which yeah. is back here. Yeah, this um, is this is the Elgato. Back, oh, huh? the GVM back oh, there. Oh, that one, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So that one's a good, that, it's good. I would- uh, I'll insert some video of it, I did yeah. some video. So honestly, I would give that one probably an eight. Mm -hmm. I feel like it could have been better when it, uh, it does its job. Right. But it doesn't, uh, I did it for backup, for backup lights and you know, make the background pretty and all that stuff. And don't you think it's a little more complicated? Cause remember like trying to change the colors are not necessary. It's very complicated, but it doesn't, it, it, it doesn't come with, it only comes with one certain color. Ah, you see what I'm saying? So okay. it doesn't. So you have to purchase yeah, more. Yeah, you have to purchase okay. more. But it's like at that price, I think it was like $300. No, it was actually $139. Oh, $139. Okay, mm -hmm. well, to me, it's $300 because I'm kind of cheap. But <laughs> but no, uh, that one, I felt like it could have been better. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah, because, I would have to say it's like a 7.5 to an yeah, 8. Yeah, yeah. Because it did. Now, it did make his videos dope. I'm going to yeah. insert a little footage of his video with yeah. the color behind it. Yeah. It was it was dope. It was dope. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so, um, but it does, like I said, more color would have been great. Mm -hmm. It came with like a purple background. Yeah. I think a blue or a yellow would have been dope as well. So, yeah, yeah that's, that's my thoughts on that. So that is number six. Yes. Now, moving on to number seven, mm -hmm. it is the Elgato Wave Mic Arm Premium Low Profile Mic. So okay. it is here. I'm yeah. going to scoot out the way and let him talk to you about that. All right. So this mic arm, uh, let me move this over a little bit. So I wanted this mic on bad because I had boom arms before, but it's the traditional boom arms that come down here. Mm -hmm. You know, the usual. This is a low. Yeah. So as you see, I record from up high. So this is not even in the shot most of the time. Mm -hmm. Instead of the other one, I had to share the screen with the mic boom arm. You know what I'm saying? So this one is a low profile. It's great. It bends. It moves. It gets out the way. All of that. So I really feel like this is a great investment. This is one of actually the newest purchase I've, I've made. This yeah, one. I think so, yeah, you, you've been using it for about what, two weeks? About two weeks, yeah. yeah. So, but this is a great investment. I shared it with some friends who also purchased it. Shout out to Philip Edge. Um, and he, he purchased it and he loves it as well. Oh, good. So, so yeah. what, what you going to give that, one to ten? Honestly, I'm going to give it a ten because it's very, the, the quality of it is great. It's not like this you know, plastic is is yeah. totally solid. Um, yeah, it's it's really good. It's really good. So nice. I would give that one ten. Very good. So ten. we have another ten. Another ten. Which tells you yeah. we made good purchases. I mean, I'm just saying. I made good purchases. <laughs> all right. So I think that is all of the electronics. Mm -hmm. um, we are going to move to another thing that is still in this area, which is. It's a favorite of mine, y'all. Yeah. This is like so cool. Number eight is this dry erase desktop glass whiteboard. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. So now we're getting into stuff that's not as expensive. Just everyday use, good items. Mm -hmm. This dry erase board, guys. Oh, my gosh. Can you imagine working? How many of you all use so many sticky, uh, what do you call them? Sticky, sticky notes. Sticky notes. I used to use so many sticky notes throughout the day, like yeah. writing down, especially working from home, mm -hmm. taking a note, you know, jotting down something. Y'all, this has been a game changer. Yeah. A dry erase board that's on your desk. You can write it down, erase it. You're yep. not wasting paper. So yep. it's good for the environment. And it also opens up mm -hmm. where you can keep things inside. Absolutely. Bomb. Bye. You got to get yeah. that. You got to get that one. I, I, I agree. It's really you good. Agree? We forgot one though. Can I, can I get, hit one more electronic that we want? Well, okay, so we'll have to turn this into 21 because 21. We, were, we were doing 20. Well, listen, you want you get, you get more. But you're going to get that. This is a listen, bonus. This, this is, is a bonus. bonus. We're going to throw a bonus this in This is one you may know about, but a lot of people have these technical uh, or, or pages or, you know, but I'm going to show you this one. This I don't one, even know what this is, so. Voila. Ah, yeah, this is Apple, a good one, guys. Yes, the Apple AirPod max pro yeah headphones. that's a good one now i was going to get this from apple i'm gonna be honest with you yeah but i went ahead and got it from amazon because um apple had it for 5.99 yep and amazon had it brand new for 450. With, what would you do and you can buy a warranty yeah and you can buy the warranty for 25 dollars. 
So I was like, okay, I'm not the smartest man in the world, right? But I'm gonna save money, right? You know, I, I love my Apple products, but at the same time, if it's guaranteed, it's the exact same thing, right? Then I'm gonna go with that. So, uh, yeah, she's gonna put this I in her will store add as the well. Apple iPhone, uh, AirPods so, to the uh, store. Listen, if y'all know anything about these, these are quality, quality, quality. Um, these are better than the Beats, in my opinion. Um, so just a little bit about it. It has the noise cancellation. You see it all over YouTube. It's great for noise cancellation, but here's the thing what people don't know. It has a button right here. This button right here. You got mm -hmm. the round knob for the volume. This button right here, I can keep the headphones on and press it when it's noise cancellation. And I, it's like it feeds conversation into me. Like every, if she's talking to me and I got noise cancellation on, I can't hear nothing. I push that button and it actually feeds whatever's around me into the And that's headphones. bomb. You don't have Crazy. to keep taking your headphones on like, huh, what you say? Crazy. Huh? Yes. You, he could just hear me talking to him. Yes. So, so that is cool. That is a very good ad. Thank yes, you for that, baby. Yes. Absolutely. So 21. 21. Yeah. He had a good one, guys. Yep. Yeah, yeah. All right. So um, the dry erase board was number eight. Technically, that was number nine. Uh -huh, so the next one is uh, number 10. Mm -hmm. And... Um, it's actually in the bathroom. So it is the Bluetooth, um, the Bluetooth tooth, excuse me, the blue toothbrush covers oh, okay. with the built-in fan to keep the toothbrush dry. Guys, I don't know how many of y'all know this, but I do not like germs. And so <laughs> although we leave, we use electronic toothbrushes, which are good for your teeth and really getting them clean, um, and you can change the heads of the toothbrushes, right, monthly. Um, but also, in the interim of waiting for that next change, I know a lot of people use toothbrush covers, and that's what we usually use mm -hmm. because they're usually in the bathroom, right? Yeah. So this particular cover has a blue light in it that sanitizes the toothbrush between uses, and it also has a fan in it that dries the toothbrush while it's sitting there. To me, it was a no-brainer. You got to get it, Okay. So I'm going to insert some footage of the um, me showing you how to use the blue toothbrush cover, okay? Yeah. All right. So, I mean, I liked it because now anybody who knows me, I am a fanatic on dental hygiene. I got to make sure my mouth is good. I get up in right. the morning, the first thing I do, I'm brushing my teeth, and I got, I got my, my stuff in there to floss, all that. So anything that's going to support that, I'm with it. You know what I'm saying? Now, she a little more... Uh, Geeky with the uh, electronic like stuff, be. so she likes that kind of stuff. I don't care. I'm like, okay, if it protect my toothbrush, all right, let's roll with yeah, it. I'm with yeah. it. So I have no complaints, but I'll let you rate it. Yeah, you've been using it, so I'm gonna give it. I I give it a ten. I mean, it does what it says it's yeah. gonna do. You can hear the fan on once you put it on the toothbrush. It's drying the toothbrush. And, of course, I don't have a microscope to put my toothbrush <laughs> under to see if it's killing the I was about to say, she's probably going to buy that next. <laughs> but I do trust that it's doing what it says. So I'm going to give it a 10. Now, I want y'all to know something, too. We don't give 10s loosely. Right. Like, I'm a person who I read reviews, and if it's not real, I'm going to say it. Right. So I just want you to know that we're not just giving everything a 10. But Yeah, and if, if you think stuff. we are, you can check out our rating when we went to the Hart House. And we ate some <laughs> yeah. chicken nuggets at Kevin's yeah. Hart's new chicken restaurant. Chicken nuggets. So I'll link that below, too, if you want to check that out and see that we don't just give 10s. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. So that was uh, number 10. And now on to number 11, which is going to be my Fememo label maker. I don't know nothing about this. And it's Bluetooth. <laughs> so what this is, is it's a label maker. I'm going to start the footage of it. It's a label maker that you can link to your phone by Bluetooth and you go into an app. You type into the app what you want the label to print out. And then when you cut the label maker on and you hit print on your phone, it will print out whatever label you want on a little sticky label. And I use these a lot to go with the juicer. So um, when we make juices, you know, it's important to keep up with the time frames. You know, juices only last a certain amount of time. And so I label them with the dates and the time that they were made. But you can label anything, anything you want to label in your house. If you're really particular about like your pantry, you want to make it really nice and neat, get all these nice, clear, you know, clear things and label rice or label whatever it is. You can use it for several different things. So okay. um, I'm going to give the label maker a, I'm going to say eight and a half. And the reason why I say eight and a half, because 
sometimes it will print out a little bit closer to the right side or the left side, not exactly in the middle. You have to load the paper exactly right for it to print center. Mm. All right. So moving on to number 12, and that is going to be the two pack wireless. How do you say the mic? Lavalar? Lavar? Lavalier? Uh, Lavalier? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Let me see. L-A-V-A-L-I-E-R. Yeah, whatever that is. That. The yeah. microphones and for iPhones and iPads um, with the charging case. And that is what we have on. Yeah. So hopefully you can hear us clearly. Yeah. The phone is kind of distant away from us. And so we have these mics on. Yep. And then it comes with a charging case here. Put it up a little closer. This little charging case that um, charges it while it's in the case. So, um, yeah, this is, I think this is pretty cool. Yeah. And you'll be able to rate this yourself by the audio. So, yeah. if the audio sucks, guess what? Don't buy it. Then that means the mic yeah. sucks. <laughs> yeah. um, from what I've seen so far in my videos that it's I've used good. it, it's been good. Okay. So, I'll probably give it probably a, um, I'll give it a 9.5. Okay. And the reason why is because if you don't make sure they're on, you will do an entire video and have no sound. Oh, so it's not because you have to plug something into the phone or into the iPad yeah. that cuts off just your regular sound in the yeah. air. So if you're not, if these aren't on, you're going to hear silence through your whole video after you record it. Dang, that sucks. So always do a test before you actually do the video. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's that. And then the next one is number 13 is going to be our short birds rustic five foot blanket ladder. That's in our living room. We have one of those. Right here. He okay. gets his blankets off of it every time we're like on the couch chilling. What do you think about our blanket ladder over like a blanket basket? It's fine. It's nice. <laughs> so, of course, you know, men are not interested in these types of things. But I think it's cute. So, typically, I think you see a lot of people who have like baskets that they keep their blankets in for like, you know, when you're chilling on the couch or, or you know, lounging around the house. But this one is a ladder. I'm going to insert some footage. And so the ladder kind of leans up against the wall. It has several little shelves, I guess little stepping shelves steps, or whatever, yeah. steps that you can lay your blankets across. And so I think it's functional and I, then I also think it's cute. So I'm going to give the um, rustic blanket ladder, um, I don't know, I think a, I would say a 8.5. Because sometimes the it's not it's not real wide, so if you have a really bulky blanket, it can sometimes keep it from leaning up against the wall. Okay. Okay. All right. So the next one he can talk a little bit more about than me. Number fourteen is the Astro um, air compressor tire inflator portable um, air pump with digital pressure gauge for the car tires. Yeah. Okay, so this is another recent purchase. Yeah. Uh, maybe a month ago? Yeah, about it? a month ago. All right, so uh, we just moved to California. We got new tires when we were in Atlanta, mm -hmm. right before we left. And I uh, started getting this tire pressure reading, um, saying that, you know, all four tires are low. And I'm like, no, it's not. But so she purchased it. At, at first, I was like, we don't need that. I can just stop yep. by the... I'm old yep. school. I just stop by the gas you station. You don't need that. You can just and go I'm to the gas station go, and get You air. know what I'm saying? Put a, put a dollar in there and... But I get it. Uh, I thought it was going to be because, you know, y'all fellas, y'all know they had these way back in the days at uh, AutoZone where you plug it in the car and just make a lot of noise. Yeah. And it doesn't really do anything. But yeah. this one was pretty good. Because you actually um, had to use it one day, right? Well, yeah. Yeah. I actually pulled. Let me tell you what I did. I pulled up to the gas station anyway. Yeah. Just in case it didn't yeah, work. Just in case. I was like, let me go to my backup. But it did work well. Um and yeah, I didn't, I didn't have a problem with it. It didn't take long. No. Because a lot of times, that's the issue that we have with those. Yep. You plug them in, and it takes forever to get a little bit of pressure. So, excuse me, y'all. Um, that that was good. That was a good. So, I would say I only use it once now. Yeah. So, um, I always want to be truthful. I only use it once, but the one time that I did use, I used it on all four tires. Mm -hmm. um, and I would give it a probably a nine. Yeah. Um, because it has a digital readout, mm -hmm. it had everything that I would expect. It actually blew my mind, mm -hmm. but at the same breath, um, I don't want to rate it too high because it's been a long time since I used one of those. Mm -hmm. So it may be a bottom tier, but, but I we just, just haven't used it. Yeah. yeah so don't. for for my experience, it's a nine. Yeah. yeah. Agreed. Agreed. All right. So let's move on to number 15. And number 15 is going to be my touch case 
touch iPad 9 generation case with the keyboard. So he's looking like, what in the world is that? I'll so, let her take over that part. Let me show I'm you. I'm going to get some water. All right, so this is it. So um, when you open it up, here you'll see I have my iPad here, and here's the keyboard. And it looks like just any typical laptop. keyboard that you can buy. Yeah, you know. But it is so, you can turn it any way that you need to use it. Um, you can flip it like this if you want to stand it up and watch your iPad. I use it a lot on the computer, I mean, excuse me, on the airplane, on, the airplane yeah. on our way back from um, the East Coast last time. So you can really, it's just really adjustable, very flexible. You can do so much with it. And so um, I really, really like it. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, you can see that it lights up. I don't know if you can see it. It has like really pretty colors. It lights up with pretty colors. And that's probably not important to most people, but it's important to me. So By people, she means men. To men, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that is number 15. All right, guys, we have five more to go. Let's see what's next. So number 16 is going to be the Solar Power Bank 36,000 megahertz built-in four cable wireless charger with dual LED. It's behind you, babe. Oh, I was wondering where it is. Flashlights, man. solar powered, and, and it is waterproof. Yeah, so y'all, I can't <laughs> even lie. As the youngsters say, I can't cap. <laughs> this is really, really good. So. Yes show you what it looks like as you see on the bottom you have every different type of fitting that you would need yes um it is really good there's a power button somewhere there it is right here the power button is right here and so it's really dope um solar power solar right? power guys so and you can plug it in too don't get me wrong but it's solar powered if you outside and you're just chilling and you want to get more charge you can do it that way but i will tell you this i have used this thing for like two hours straight and it still is on like four. We charge our computers, yes. our phones in the airport. And it's like it never yeah. loses all its power. It never, never. So um, I'm starting to think Jesus made this. I know. <laughs> um, listen, y'all, this thing is so, Show the so flashlight. good. The flashlight, um, I don't even remember how to do it right now. Let me see. So like if you. You got to hold it down. Because think about it. It's there powered it solar. So there if you, you lose electricity. And you can't charge this. You can still charge it yeah. by the sunlight, and you have a flashlight. Yep. So it's really good, y'all. Yeah. So really you still good. have access to your electronic devices. Mm -hmm. You have a flashlight, and yep. then you can charge by solar power. You can't beat that. So you can. This has the lightning lightning cable. Excuse me. This has the. This is like more of a uh, computer. This one right here is an Android. Oh wow! Yeah, and this what I'm not is sure that? what this is. We don't even know but, what that yeah. is, but it charges something. Some of you tech guys, you can know what that is. Yeah, but yeah. Comment. Let see. us know what that is. Comment in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for real, because I don't know what that is. I just know, know I haven't is. used it, but you know, if I needed it, there it is. So this is very good, guys. I would give this a ten across the board. Yeah, I got it. One agree. of the best purchases. purchases. I'm gonna be honest with you. This goes with me everywhere. He does. He takes. It I everywhere. put it in my bag and I'm, I'm out because. Yeah. If I'm somewhere, if I'm doing business, if I'm styling somebody, I can plug this in and I know my phone is good. I don't yeah. have to be one of those guys that's in the store or walking around the airport looking, looking for, a charger. for a charger. Yep. I got one right here. So definitely a good purchase, purchase guys. Get purchase that. This. Get that. Especially yeah. if you travel a lot. Yep. All right. So the next one is number 17. We're getting there, guys. Number 17 is going to be my Starmint, Starument portable hand vacuum cleaner rechargeable with usb port oh my goodness let me show you okay guys this is her doesn't oh, look like her. much to look this is her this is her <laughs> she's pink it of may course. not look like much to look at but y'all i thought it was a speaker he didn't know what this thing was when it came a fan or something look at this it is a vacuum cleaner it is so powerful like someone drops crumbs on the on the uh carpet or on the couch whatever some way. Then <laughs> you can turn this on. It's, it has several different power levels. And I just kicked it up right there. Do you hear how powerful that is? It's very powerful. So this right here was, oh my gosh, an amazing purchase. Sometimes you don't want to have to go to the closet, get out the big vacuum cleaner, da, 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 blah, blah, blah. You know, portable vacuum cleaner, ladies. You can thank me later. 
I mean, if it wasn't pink, I would recommend it for the guys too, for like in the car or something. Well, it like comes that. in different colors, so okay. it does come in black, white, so it that that's perfect for a car too, babe. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. So men, don't sleep on this. You can get this too. Just don't get it in pink. Well, I mean. No, no. Okay, don't get it in pink. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> okay, so number 18. It's going to be my Reach Your Small Digital Alarm Clock with a wireless charging. And I didn't know we had it. I didn't that. know we had it. And the reason why he does not know we have this is because it is located in my bathroom. Why do I need a clock in my bathroom? Because church. this dude is always telling me we're late for church. So, in order to stay on time, I have a it. clock in my bathroom while I'm doing my makeup. And. Um, it has a charger on the top where you can lay your phone and charge your phone at the same time. So I'm going to insert some footage of that. And I'm going to give that a, I'm going to give it an eight and a half. And the reason is it's a very good clock and everything. The charger on the top, you have to lay your phone exactly right mm -hmm. in order for it to say, you know, doop and start charging. Doop, doop. <laughs> All right. I'm so, assuming that's the charging mode. That's the charging. You don't know how to phone that when you put <laughs> do. My phone never says do. You, your phone says do. I don't do. have a smartphone. My phone's a little slow. No, your phone say do. Okay. So number 19. We're almost there, guys. Number 19 is the 8-in-1 wireless charging station for multiple devices. And you know I have this on my side of the bed, right? Oh, that's what that is. Okay. Yes. Yes. So I'm going to show you. I'm Her side of the bed is Gadgetville, so I don't know what is over <laughs> what there. What all is over there? Yeah, I don't even go over there. Oh, my gosh. So this is a charging station that you can charge your iPads, your iPhone, your Apple Watch, your uh, AirPods. Your I eyelashes. Mean, <laughs> since we charge everything. <laughs> you can charge eight different things at one time. So sometimes I will have my regular iPad, my mini iPad, my work iPhone, my personal iPhone, my watch, my AirPods. Air, app, uh, was it iPod mini? Um, yeah, the iPod mini. IPad, what is it? iPad, iPad mini. I'm iPad sorry. mini. I will have all eight working. And it doesn't even slow up. So you would think if you have so many things charging that it would slow it up, but it doesn't. Well, let's pause for this moment to realize that she has a whole Apple store. On her side of it. Did you notice she has eight things from Apple <laughs> to, to charge? charge. Let's, let's talk about that. I, I, I need prayer for this. Just let's talk about that. So, yes, guys, you need this in your life. It has done wonders for me. I mean, I can charge everything at one time. All right, so I'm gonna give it a nine and a half. And then also you can use the chargers for whatever. So, so I charge like my um, candle lighters. I charge them there. You know, the little things that light candles that you can re recharge them. Lighters? Lighters, thank you. I charge my lighters there. I charge all my electronic gadgets like my, um, like these, uh, these uh, microphones, my video glasses, like all those things I charge on. <laughs> Keep talking because the more I'm realizing <laughs> my wife has a problem. Go ahead. I charge everything on this 801 charger. So I'm going to stop telling you what I charge because I think I'm telling on myself a little bit. Mm. Moving up. What did I give it? Did I give it a, a, a 9.5? I don't know. A 9.5, guys. I'm lost guess. at this point. All right. So that was number 19. And final. My number numbers are off because why do I have because you two did. more? Yeah, you, you, I knew you was going to do that. So, this is where husbands come in. You use the headphones for number nine, and then you went to number 10. Oh, so okay. So, you both have 21. So it, okay. It, so, we're on the last two, guys. Yes. So, forgive me for my numbers, because we threw some extra stuff in there. Just one thing. Got tripped up by one thing. So, <laughs> the next thing is, I know I'm going to get a lot of grief about this one, but... It is my upgraded shower phone holder, waterproof wall mount case with 360 rotation, anti-fog touchscreen. What? I know. You're Did saying, you just... what in the world is that? I don't even know. Don't worry. I got you. I'm going to insert some footage, y'all. How many people like to, when I get in the shower, 
like sometimes I have a lot of stuff to do while I'm in there. I gotta wash my hair, I gotta wash my body, I may have to shave my legs. Like, I don't know, it may, I may be in there for a while and I want to maybe watch YouTube, maybe listening to some, uh, a message, listen to a minister. Um, I may want to make sure I'm not getting text messages. I can text back and just stop for a minute because my phone is located in a waterproof uh, 360 degree non-fog case. Some of you watching documentaries and that, or making documentaries. So, I mean, no, not making them. <laughs> so guys, it sounds like ridiculous. Like, why do you need this? But I'm telling you, if you get this, it will change your life. If you spend a long time in the shower, then it will change your life. Like it started off as a joke with me and my niece. We saw it advertised. I was like, who needs that? Why would somebody buy that? And I was telling, like, uh, and I did it. And I'm so glad I did. I'm giving it a 10. I'm giving it a 10. <laughs> All right. The last and final thing. Number 20 or 21 or whatever number we're on now is our short and small silicone sweeping broom. That's what he feels about it. Let me tell you guys. I don't even know what it is, bro. Guys, how many of you get so tired of the broom collecting like dust and hair when you're trying to sweep? And even though they make the little dust pans that you can run it through the bristles and it's supposed to grab the hair, it's like, ah, and then now I still have to take my hand and get the hair off the broom. It's just too much. It's just too much. So what this is, it is a broom where you can still sweep dry and wet and it has no bristles. It's silicone, silicone, excuse me, so that it just sweeps the hair. It doesn't get caught in the bristles. There's no bristles to get caught in. So this has been a life-changing purchase and I do recommend it to anyone who sweeps. So that's men and women, hopefully. And it will change your life. You will not have to get hair off the broom, touching the bottom of the dirty broom. You won't have to do that. And you can rinse it off too. Bam. Anything to say about that? A 10. I give it a 10. All right, guys. Well, we would like to thank you for joining us for our Amazon favorites. What you got to say, babe? Thank you for tuning in. I'm just, I don't know. I got to check the account. <laughs> I <don't laughs> After all these items, I right? Know. And guys, there's more to come. I love watching the Amazon favorites videos and I have a lot of favorites. So, this is just the first Amazon favorite. A lot Amazon of purchases. Favorites. You got to have a lot of purchases to have a lot of favorites. Y'all pray for me. <laughs> I can't take this no more. He's leaving. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time.